Unarized with pain medication, folks who were fine and now love those drugs too much. So we're having to deal with that a little bit. And unfortunately, we're seeing a rise with mental illness, you know, a lot of untreated uh, paranoid schizophrenia. And we've had a couple of challenges this last year. As you know, on July 8th of this past summer, the legislator decided that older folks that didn't have children didn't need to be on uh, health care. So they were cut off of that. Um, so we have a group of older people who are not on health care. So we've had to deal with that. And then they also decided to make a lot of cuts towards mental health. And so we're seeing that um, come out of that. That's the struggle. Um, so I, I, I name the good and I, and I name the bad and, and where we are today. Um, and as you know, the Justice Center is a ministry. We're not a social service. We're a ministry of the United Methodist Church. And I, I, I hold on to that, that we are a ministry. Because our roots as Methodists are not to, um, are to go to places where no one else is doing this work. And you all have been tremendous supports, tremendous supports. And so I, I want to thank you for that. And, and I will close with this. Um, we don't receive any government funding. It's all a ministry. We work with what we got um, in an incredible place. But we have a faith community there on Sunday mornings. And every Sunday morning, we pray. We pray in our prayers of the people that the Justice Center will close down. That's our goal. I'm not a career person in the urban ministry. Our goal is to shut this place down because no one needs to be called a dog and no older adult, no veteran, no older adult, no grandparent needs to be living on our streets of Phoenix. So join with me in that prayer, join with me with that work that we may shut that place down and that I can come up to Desert Mission. Nothing personal, George, uh, but this is gorgeous up here. And you all laugh at my jokes. So, uh, um, so thank you for your time. Thank you for your commitment. And thank you for your dedication. And thank you for being citizens of God's kingdom where no one in God's reign is called a dog.